the students welcome back in today's lesson i am going to revise about last lesson which we have learned that is lesson number 12 full for all the last chapter we have learned about the explanation part in this video i am going to revise chapter and also i have made some interesting questions and some activities which you have to solve at your home okay so i want you all to take a pen and a notebook with you so that you can write answers okay students now come on let's do some revision part so now let's revise the lesson which we have learned so our first point was regarding agriculture in agriculture we learned about that about 60% of land in a country is covered with the agricultural land indian agriculture is totally dependent on monsoon we also know that agriculture is the main occupation in india now we had learned about the two main seasons yes or no yes we had learned about the kharif season and the rabi season so the season from june to october is called as kharif season the season from october to march is called as rabi season and then after this we had learned about our next point which is agricultural work we learned that every farmer wishes to have a good harvest because if there is a good harvest then there is a good income so in traditional method of agriculture plowing and tilling was done with the help of oxen so in traditional methods of agriculture harvesting and threshing was done by farmers family members since nowadays as we all know there has modern technology come up yes or no so due to the modern technology farmers carry out all this task with the help of machines also for good agriculture there are various modern methods of irrigation which are proposed such as sprinkle irrigation and drip irrigation so students sprinkle irrigation makes use of sprinklers of different sizes which sprays water directly on plants and in drip irrigation method irrigation which makes use of pipes with holes is called as drip irrigation it ensures that the water drips only near the plants students we had also learned about water fertilizers fertilizer provide the required nutritive substance to the crop now there are two main kinds of fertilizer they are natural fertilizer and chemical fertilizer students do you know this natural fertilizers are also called as manures and this natural fertilizers are obtained from materials which are available naturally and students do you remember we all also learn about a chemical fertilizers chemical fertilizers are nothing but the mixtures of various chemical substances in a specific proportion also when the land 
or soil is been overwatered then it makes the land saline and fallow students it is better to avoid excessive use of the fertilizers and also of excessive use of water also we learned about how various animals and plants store their food food so that they can use it later on also we learned about the storage of food how food grains are stored in a warehouse but then to due to some reasons sometimes the food grains get spoiled here are some ways through which we can prevent the damage to the grains first boric acid powder has been put on the grains second neem leaves are been spread in the rice to avoid bugs also we have learned about the green revolution the father of green revolution is dr m n swaminathan in next point we learned about that food is a basic need many countries including india has made a law to ensure that each person gets sufficient food also we have learned about the agriculture management assistance program in which farmers are given training regarding how to do farming and what are the modern methods of irrigation and so on also farmers are farming schools are been opened so that everyone should get proper education of farming also we had learned about organic farming organic farming is in use farming which relies on natural materials is called as organic farming students we have revised the whole lesson and so now it's the quiz time i have prepared some few questions and activities i want you all to hold a pencil or a pen in your hand and i want a notebook in front of you i am going to ask you some few interesting questions regarding this chapter and i want you all to answer those question very very sincerely start question number 1 fill in the blanks first one dash grow well if they are watered at right time i repeat once again dash grow well if they are watered at right time second one in traditional method of agriculture plowing and tilling was done with the help of dash i repeat my question in traditional method of agriculture plowing and tilling was done with the help of dash now the third question overwatering makes the land dash and dash i repeat once again overwatering makes the land dash and dash now question number 2 name the following first one name any two types 
of agricultural season i repeat once again name any two types of agricultural season students here only two types are asked and also only two box are given so you need to write only two main types of agricultural season okay students second one name two modern methods of irrigation i repeat once again name two modern methods of irrigation third one name the two kinds of fertilizers name the two kinds of fertilizers question number 3 answer the following first one what is meant by the drip irrigation method i repeat once again what is meant by the drip irrigation method students we have learned about drip irrigation method yes or no yes so you have to write what do you mean by the drip irrigation method now the second question what is done to avoid damage to the crops i repeat once again what is done to avoid damage to the crops third question what is meant by organic farming i repeat my question what is meant by organic farming students we have learned about what is organic farming so i want you all to write the definition of organic farming in this answer okay next question what methods are used to preserve food grains i repeat my question what methods are used to preserve food grains so question number 4 draw and label the following i know you all like to do this question yes or no yes so students you have to draw and label the diagram of sprinkle irrigation i repeat my question again you have to draw and label the diagram of sprinkle irrigation now it's the activity time i know you all love to do activities yes students yes so i have given you some activity over here i want you all to do it okay students yes now is your next question make a note of food grains you store in your house now for this question you need to go and ask your mama about where you store the food grains now as during the lockdown time as i previously told you you have stored your food grains right so you have to make a note on that okay students so did you like the quiz yes okay i know you all must have wrote the quiz very very sincerely and i know that you must have done a very good job yes or no yes so students we have learned the lesson full for all also we have solved the exercise based on it now i want you all to do something more with the spirit only i am giving you one homework that is you have to read this lesson for 2 to 3 times for a better understanding 
yes students so i know you all have understood this lesson so students now it's time to go so stay home stay safe and take